I've welded two pieces of uh, two by one box section together and drilled a hole in the middle with a hole saw. But first, I fairly accurately marked the uh, center and I've put a permanent uh, notch in there with a uh, triangular file. Now I've welded an axle on it and uh, fitted it with a couple of bearings. <laughs> I've made a uh, sliding table for balancing the beam which fits on uh, the extension on the far side of the beam and I can put weights on it. That's a uh, Mel head but it could be anything. It could be a jug of water or a jug of sand, anything. Uh, and uh, it's just to take the weight out of this uh, beam. I've put a nut on the axle and I've uh, fixed the whole thing to some wood for prototyping purposes. Now I'm a bit of a Imperial measurements die hard but I happen to have a 25 kilogram calibration weight uh, so today I am uh, Johnny Metric. I've fitted it pretty coarsely as you can see, a metre away from the uh, fulcrum, so it should take around about 245 newton metres to uh, lift that weight. We're just going to see if this system of mine works. I've set the wrench at, uh, that's foot pounds, I've set the wrench at uh, 210 newton metres. And it, the wrench clicks. Turn it up a bit. Still clicks. A bit more. And it's just clicking up, lifting the weight. So let's have a look. It's now set at round about 210 plus 45, 255 newton meters. So I think we can say that the system works. Well, accuracy is uh, a good thing. And uh, I've set these two datum pops up. Uh, I set them uh, actually with my uh, vernier height gauge. So I can step off along the beam any measurement I want and uh, I've put a permanent one at one meter. Obviously that's 900 millimeters from uh, the pop mark. I've made this little knife edge uh, dangler for the weight and uh, I've also made a, a hook to hang the weight on. So they will go just like that. Now part of my idea was that I should be able to use this balance uh, at any uh, specific point that I choose. Uh, so I can do my calculation, work the length out, put a mark on the beam then I can uh, move that little piece of metal onto the mark and hang my knife edge on it. I think this thing's worth painting. I've balanced the beam so that uh, it is more or less weightless. I've got the 25 kilogram calibration weight uh, dangling from it and I lift the weight just so that I know that it's sitting in the correct place. It's a 25 kilogram weight, therefore it's 245 and a quarter newtons. So the torque wrench should click at 245 newton meters. So we're going to set this old wrench to 
210, 220, 230, 240. And it should click. And it is, it's just nearly trying to lift that weight. And it's just clicking at that balancing point, which is perfect. Now the work I'm doing needs a torque wrench that clicks at 310. So to calibrate it at 310, I've worked out the simple calculation that we need to add 264 millimetres of. Put the 264 mark on. My little piece of metal over the mark and we move the weight down. This is the first time we haven't tried this before. Is it balancing correctly? I'd have to rebalance this beam. There we go. Double check. All right. And I'm going to put my torque wrench on and just keep turning it up and see uh, what the measurement is. Not lifting, not lifting. Close it. Just trying to lift it now. It's lifting now. Turn it back down to the clicking point. And it should read around 310. And there we are. It's quite a difficult one to read this one, but uh, we shall see. Well, I reckon 350 less, uh, what, less uh, 10. 20, 30, 350 less 30. So it's definitely clicking off at 320, which is well, well within the tolerance. Let's just turn it down a little bit more and see what happens. It's 310, definitely. say that is absolutely perfect. It's clicking while lifting at 310. So I think this is a super contraption that I've made. Well, the thing is so accurate that it really could do with the spirit level on the uh, beam because when it is set just so it will lift the weight until it becomes level and then click. I can't be bothered to do the maths or take the measurement to find out uh, how small that uh, measurement would be. Well I think this is an absolutely super contraption that I've uh, made and I will be keeping it. I will give you the calculations and uh, I will give you the ISO number uh, pertaining to uh, torque wrench calibration. Uh, that's the International Organization for Standardization. 
and uh, it's quite detailed and quite interesting.